Do do do. Good morning, everybody. We are here. We're live. We're uh, going to be getting this rolling. Uh, hopefully, you're all having a great morning. Uh, good morning, Justin. I am waiting for stuff to load. A uh, whole bunch of hiccups today. I'm not sure what's really going on. I uh, will have to order a new modem at some point. Oh, we just launched a new giveaway, guys. Make sure to enter that. Of course, as always. Uh, cool. Cool. Aftershocks right on. We are giving one of those away. So, a few updates before we get this deal stream rolling here, guys, right? One is my second monitor came in. Not sure if you guys can see the big box back there in the corner, but it did show up. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to set that all up later tonight. Uh, if I get time, I have to go work on my car. My brakes are sounding really weird, and I don't know why. Uh, second is, guys, we have a few more streams going on this week. Of course, tomorrow, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dragon Blogger will be doing their stream, so make sure to enter to join with that one, right? Uh, starting Tuesday, I will be modding at night for the moderations of streams starting Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so you guys are going to see a lot more of me. But, you know, a lot of stuff going on. I do not have chat. I am staring chat at a little... Uh, screen down here in fact i cannot even see my stream working for some reason i uh, i lost amazon page not really sure what's going on here let's see there we go i got it back we'll be able to get this going now so i appreciate everybody everything that we're going to be doing this little stream now let's uh change to some different pages here Kind of show you off some products. Okay. Oh, and it doesn't want to show up. Really? Come on, man. Doesn't have to be that bad today. Thank you. Come again. Uh, James here from Dragon Logger. Of course, course guys, if you have any questions, products, always feel top free top. to ask. We are here this to answer whatever we can. The first product, guys, we're showcasing is the top ten. Now, I'm going to pause this video for one second and talk about this. I've actually gotten rid of my Dyson and I only use this vacuum at all. This vacuum works so good that I actually got rid of my Dyson V10 Animal Pro. Just to give you a heads up. <laughs> not sit properly, but if you guys want... Good morning, Gina. Good morning, Ricky. Good cool morning, Evans, buddy. Stick vacuum, which is pretty cool. Um, we'll discuss this before we start opening this. This is, you know... It's a tangle-free brush roller. It has a 150-watt uh, motor in it. How's it everybody's weekend going? KPA, super powerful suction, which is pretty cool. Five layers of uh, filtration system. Now, guys, we do have a lot of giveaways going on, so make sure to enter those. milliamp battery. I believe um, our OBSBOT giveaway small, ended. But, you know, for four hours of charge, you'll get... So we should have a winner for that at some point today. Runtime. 
<laughs> should be enough to do your house or your yeah. car. You know, depending on size of your house. Uh, right on. Uh, two power modes, you have low and high power. I'm kind of laughing at this package. 5.2 pounds, I believe. And it is wall mountable. This package you know, showed up. It is my dual monitor charge, mount, and I did not realize it weighs charged. as much as it does. So, you know. The weight on this is just thing. crazy. It is 99.99%. Uh, I'm pretty sure that mount weighs more than my that, monitors. Uh, microscopic particles or dust that you want to call about it. There's that one percent. Yeah, that, I'm hoping know, it's not too like heavy for the desk. <laughs> but you know, not every vacuum is going to clean. How do you enter? Perfect. We have links. So, we will post links. You go into the Gleam floor. app and like enter this. there. You know, this is a rather good package. We don't normally do big packages this way, but we are going to do it today. First part here. I believe we do have an Xbox one going on. If you guys want the code for that, it is Onyx Dragon. That is the weekly code this week. So we're going to pop these open pieces by piece. And we're going to just throw the trash on the ground and pick it up. Oh, he actually wrote it so in there for you guys. Part of it. You have the green push <laughs> buttons so you can break it down. You do not have to leave this on, which is great. I'm going to set that right there for I now. think my wife is texting me. We have another box right here. This box. Well, it's in several boxes. Neighbor. So first, we'll just chuck this aside, except for, I think, just got to make sure there's no hidden stuff. This is a thank you card and user manual. So first, we'll take a look at this real quick. Quick start guide, guys. Now, so the user manual comes together. in handy, guys, if you want to find out how to open use, all of the filters uh, and clean them out. I uh, don't know who you, you know, are, but thank you for nice, the follow. Easy, really appreciate that. Guy. I will set that aside. Right here is going to be the battery, I'm sure, or some hardware. Let's pop it open and see. It's all kinds of hardware. So we have the mounting brackets, teeth combs, and stuff. So... You have your Marty mounting hardware, wall hardware, orange plugs, couple screws. Then you have the brush cleaning tool. So they give you that. They have your wall bracket to hang it. This is going to be uh, not a problem. We usually do not write it out. Which is cool. But as long as you're close to the clips, word, clamps, we will allow it. If it's not even the word, we don't there's accept it. These, so I'm not we will actually three of these clips and null and void. <laughs> which is very nice here is your charging cord. we've actually had people actually put in brick, like you know cuss words standard, uh, black for no reason at all so we're gonna set that uh, aside. whoever that was thank you for the follow we're gonna wait to pull this well, we'll pull it out we'll give you guys your first look here is the stick back itself you know you have your mode button up here you have your filtration button down here they say ah, followers, drop thank you. To do this, so I mean, my phone is going off this like morning. Let's just, you know, they claim it just drops it down. Pretty nice. You want to break it apart, guys? It does come apart. So you can take this. So apart. that is actually you how you break it apart to get to the other filters and apart. actually clean it out better. That will probably be another video. Yeah, we have a lot of giveaways going on, guys. There is actually a list of giveaways. We are doing the EF Echo Flow giveaway. Uh, Justin can probably post that too. Oops, I did not clip it right. So that is how you pull it apart. We uh, usually do gift card giveaways during streams, but not on Saturday. Uh, my Saturday stream, we do not give gift cards away. I don't know what's going on here, but... To me, it seems like there's three modes. That's pretty cool. Now, there are more pieces. This is where we're going to pull this apart and move the box off the table for you guys. We no longer need the box. Throw it behind us. Inside this box... Hey, Justin, Amazon's trying to call me. Attachment. <laughs> That's pretty funny. First is a hose. You guys need this hose, stretchable hose connector. So this is. I could cool. laugh about that one. I mean, if you really want, take the green plug, connect it down just like that. 
I believe it's over the that product and issue. You guys can stretch it anywhere you want if that's how you want to use this. If you don't want to use it that way, you take the utensil, grab the utensil. Now you have a longer stick. Set that aside. Grab some more attachments. This is just, you know, your standard nozzle attachment to get in behind crevices, creases in your cars. This is pretty good. Now we're gonna jump forward a little here, guys. Okay, guys. Now that I, I these, actually I'm do a rice test, this guys. Watch this. This is funny. This will tell you how well it works, though. I'm gonna actually throw it in here. I'm Step on it, it crunch it in. Hey, whatever. Hopefully, you guys can see all this. I will move the camera back some more so you guys can see this. We're gonna actually vacuum this up and see how well it does. Now it is rice, so it is going to kick it around, but as you guys see, it's actually vacuuming up pretty good. I'm actually surprised at how well it's picking up the rice without charging this, because I have not charged this. This is just the charge straight from the factory, so you're going to get more power out of this. You guys turn it up higher. You know. See this? Yeah, hey, look at those chicken legs. It's rice, so it will bounce <laughs> and you have to go back over. It works well. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep vacuuming. See how well this vacuums up. Turn the volume down. So you have three modes, medium, high, low, <laughs> medium. You know you thought high. that was funny, Evans. <laughs> Let's bring this to you. As you guys can see in this, it picked up all that rice and the rice is actually dirty. That's kind of cool. So this is the top. Yeah, guys, that's the top pin stick vac. I highly recommend this stick vacuum cleaner. I use it actually uh, daily, man, and I, Keep it on the wall in my bedroom because it was the only place to hang it that was open near a plug. But literally, we used it so much that I just quit using the Dyson and got rid of it. I really recommend this. And that, it's like $78 right now. It's just crazy that a vacuum that could work that good and be cordless and be that decently priced. Hey, buy things. Now, guys, we're going to pop over to an Insignia, insignia 42-inch. Uh, smart TV guys that I believe this is a fire TV. I believe Demetrius did this video for us So we're gonna pop over and kind of show you guys this. Hey guys, my name is Demetrius and I'm gonna be showing you guys this insignia fire TV Hey, Jennifer came in a 42 inch LED Good morning. Display it has a HDMI ports as I'll show you later in the video and it's that it S20 too series to be heavier with a and it also bar has that brush. Press I'm not sure what you mean by that. Alexa feature on there. That has a motorized really, really brush awesome on the bottom. TV so far. It came in that a vacuum. really solid box. Um, as you can see, it has the remote at the top. And, and it's actually really light. Extra padding at the which top. I like. As I'm going to show you how I'm going to remove all the stuff that came with. It has both feet. Let's set at the bottom of the TV if you wanted it. And then you have the child safety piece of form. And then you will have next is the TV remote, the main alley, and then you have some uh, batteries in there too. Uh, the batteries, if it didn't come with it, the batteries you'll use is a uh, AAA batteries. Comes in this plastic too to protect that screen of that glossy look. Uh, there you have it, a uh, forty-two inch LED F HD. Oh, if I keep the in today. F twenty series. I have such an earache. I apologize, guys. One second. Swapping earbuds, which Signia actually shut that off. Really, really clean look, as you can see. And then it has that energy guide, yellow little sticker on there. Comes in a uh, plastic Hopefully film. Hopefully, you guys are having a edges. great start to your and weekend. Here's the back of the TV. Better you than mine. Allergies have caused right an earache. Here, the HDMI's, <laughs> and then you have the USB, of course, and then you have the cable cord. 
And then on the bottom, you had the, you know, the red, I tell you, I'm used to it. White cord at the bottom. Which it you, happens you know, every like year, for, about um, six or seven times system. a year, and I live through it. And then you have the cable cord. So you can use those four spots right there if you want to put a TV mount on there. And it comes with the screws labeled right there. And then you have the power connector that came with a safety little power connector thing. And it has a zip lock. Uh, little zip tie. I think my neighbor's connector. trying to come through my wall. So with that, uh, the battery is pretty much simp simply easy to put in. Uh, take it, the uh, remote out of the plastic. And then uh, you just have a little notch right there on the back where you just slide down on the remote. And it was just simply just pop right off. So with that being said, like I said, it has a lot of updating and a awesome lot of software mom. updating that it does. It takes about five minutes to update everything. And uh, really, really love it so far. And then, boom, there you have it. The Equalizer 2 is displayed on the screen and really, really perfect picture. You have all these apps right here already. Uh, decently TV little uh, TV guys. Now, one thing about Fire TV is it literally is just like their Amazon uh, Amazon Smart TV. It should be all Android-based. You'll have every app that the, the App Store will allow you to get, including HBO, Paramount, all that. The same as my big TV behind me, which is very great. Now, another thing that you I will point out that wasn't pointed out in this video is since it's the Fire TV, you can actually connect up Amazon Luna, which is Amazon's game uh, base uh, gaming app or streaming app, and you can actually play the Amazon games streaming straight to this TV, which is really cool. And for like a 42-inch TV, it's not badly priced, guys. It's a full 1080p now. If that's not your, you know too big enough for you there's always other versions out there tv looks oddly shaped square versus rectangular um it's because it's just a normal tv it's not like it's a uh, widescreen so that is one of the things that are is happening nowadays and plus it actually looks really weird okay so i'm gonna talk about something here it doesn't look that squared. For some reason, the app that I'm showing it on, and I can kind of showcase this a little better, it's really shaped weird. Why is it shaped like that? Because the video I'm looking at does not look that square. <laughs> it's almost like a fishbowl effect. Uh, but, it, you know, a lot of the TVs are nowadays have the widescreen, like the ultra wide back here. You know, there's different styles. Uh, for Fire TV, if you guys just want a basic TV, I mean, $229 for a 42-inch, not a bad option. I will let the video keep playing. I believe you show some more. You also have the news. It should be, but like you said, I'm you not really, I can't really channels, mess with it that much. And then it more. has all your apps that you have on your TV right now and the channels you have. Uh, and you can click the App Store to access more. And there you have... Even yeah, more. I'm you not sure Apple what's TV, going on. You have NFL, you have Sling, Amazon Live, and you have YouTube TV. All of these apps right here. Really, really cool. Uh, feature right here. You yeah, it doesn't look right. Game system to download. I have not adjusted this anything. TV. I have a lot of apps, as you can see. Yeah, I'm Netflix, using the source video. video. I don't think it's going to change it. DB TV, YouTube, News, oh. Amazon Music. Let's test something. Let me grab that link. I can't grab that. I don't have chat. So, some reason they, uh, it looks off on my stream, and I'm not sure why. I could actually do this, guys, if you guys want. Fit this. That's where it will change it, but... Yeah, I shouldn't have had to do that. So, my settings have messed stuff up. When it crashed before stream. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what happened was the stream lapse crashed before stream, guys. And I think it took set of my, my settings out with it. We will readjust stuff later. <laughs> and just a little bit of everything. Um, you know, it's a F20. It's be one of these days, I tell you. And it's uh, 21 inches tall right here. Hey, good morning, uh, Donna. 
37.4 inches long and you got 42 inches from this point right there to the point right there in the corner and also like I said it has um, the HDMI ports and then it has a cable and it has the other cords back there the Ethernet cable and all mm -hmm. that all that stuff right there as I showed you earlier in the video it has a lot of features for the best entertainment to stream your favorite movies and TV shows from a thousand of channels and apps. Yeah, guys, make sure to enter the new giveaway. It did just launch, uh, besides all the others that we have going on. Uh, if you need the code for the Xbox, that is Onyx Dragon, guys. If you want to go to Netflix, Hulu, so. Prime Video, and Disney. Yeah, the TV looks much better now. <laughs> that you will use to watch movies. Uh, thanks for the follow, the Lone Wolf. You can also access the internet also. You can download the app. And and boom, there you have it. Uh, here's the Amazon Fire TV by Insignia. Uh, 42 I didn't want to point it out. Really, really huge in my view. <laughs> Has the uh, thin lining right here. The also, guys, if you TV haven't seen, we have a lot of merch going on. Scenes on the picture. Our merch is actually TV, very, very well TV, done. Big desk. I'm happy big with big all of the products that have showed up so far. Your office or your game room or just a bedroom. TV, even if you want to hang it up in the... Uh... So that is the Insignia TV, guys. We'll just hop over from that, and we'll go over to something that I really, really enjoy, and that is Gobi products. Yeah, I so... saw... To shoot short shirts? <laughs> yeah, I, I dude, I love the shirts. The shirts are awesome. They actually all feel very well. They're stitched done. The logos are done nice. Even the hat. And I'll actually pop over and show you guys this. The hat, man. That stitching on that hat is just phenomenal. I'm really picky about my hats. And this one was actually done very well. Now, like I said, we're going to hop over. We're going to talk about the Govi wall sconces, guys. Now, I will hop over. And I'm going to actually show you guys the web page here first. And then we're going to show you guys this. Gobi, of course, guys, you guys can literally do everything from their app. Their app is just full, and I'll kind of pull it up if I can. Uh, where's my Gobi app? So the Gobi Home app, guys, right here, literally you can run everything, including their meat thermometers and everything else off this app. You can change your scenes. You can run every separate light on this, including your car lights. If you have car lights, I have car lights. Uh but the cool thing is, this is for wall sconces. This is uh, kind of waterproof, semi-waterproof, guys. Great for, like, you know, light fixtures to light up a wall or a uh, doorway. Yeah, the Obsbot Emmy ended uh, last night. We will be picking the winner later today. But I'm going to show you guys a little video of this. That is not the video. Why did it not take? Let's grab this. Let's grab this. Uh, one sec, guys. Let me get the video for you because you guys got to see this. This is great. And then she give us the... It did not fit properly. Why? Everything went out of whack. Okay, okay, now that we now got the, the Govee Wall ah. Sponsors. I cannot show you the video. Everything cracked. Right, this is one of these days, guys. Okay, okay now, now that we now got the, the Govee Go Wall Sponsors hooked up, guys. As you can see, the lighting is working. Okay, okay now, now that we now got the, the Govee Go Wall Sponsors. Yeah, Streamlight just broke. Nothing's working. Okay, now that we got the Go V wall sponsors hooked up, guys, as you can see, the lighting is working. I now, don't know if you guys can see this, but we lost we're sound. We're going color mode, right? We're going to select a pattern. We're going to go red, green. Yeah. Can you hear it? I can't hear it. And we're going to uncheck that. 
Check that. Check that. We're going to go red with that one. And then we're going to do red. Yeah, I, I lost everything. You guys see we can do a red green pattern? I cannot well, hear it. Check all, I can't even hear desktop blue, audio. Which is very cool. You could do colors. But we, if we pop over, we could set up some patterns of some scenes. Crazy. So you guys can see the effects there. Yeah, that Stream is Labs Aurora. is broke, we can, man. we can do flowers. Oh, you can't see me. Rainbow effect. Me. It'll actually change back. And so this is the Gobi wall sconces, pattern. guys. It is just very well Star done. I love Gobi products. They are bright. They're beautiful. Which is rather cool. They have a lot of scenes that you guys and can Firefly. use. Firefly. I mean... I just if we love move them. over to festival. We can do Halloween. now. I wished I had a place to permanently like set this set up. Unfortunately, I don't have enough walls to do it. Yeah, yeah, your pathway we lights, man. Birthday. Those on that near your car look amazing. Valentine's Day. Now I have a we lot a motion, of Govee right? products, and I this love Govee products. Night. It's crazy Romance. how well their products are done. Can I have flicker, yet to find a bad product. Breathing effect. It's just you guys crazy. see it's red. It's going to change breathing colors. Now it's going to go yellows. Um, dance should be right there. If you have those. In but I actually like dance. Dance is kind of cool. Now then we have relaxation. We have I'm like not sleep, sure, man. Right? Dreams. But that is the Govi lights, guys. I want to give you guys just a quick showcase of the lighting and how well it actually looks. Or we can do I mean, DIY. The lights, you guys are seeing that actually super, super bright. They and look well. They will actually, actually hit the power like, button. just oh, yeah. showcase them all off. perfectly. Uh, turn if you're trying on. to do, let's say, like uh, showcasing an art lab. piece under it, you could definitely the adjust now you guys can the see light and coloration blue. to how you want you it set. The and the very cool really thing, want. it does have a wall mount, so you can so actually all mount all it to the wall and like angle 100%. it like you want it. Or we can turn the it best down, part is, is in the app, in the app, you can actually fully change the coloration patterns. You can make your own scene, so it can change Purple. patterns how you want. You can do a tracing. You can do different brightness levels. Red. Or if you guys just want plain Purple. white, it will do plain white. It's just Purple. fundamentally crazy how well the product truly is compared to a lot of products out there. I mean, I really love the Govi products. If you have any questions about Govi products, please ask, guys, and we will answer as much as we can. I've had a lot of hands on, including, well, I have the rope light set on my desk and I love the rope light set. It's a cool option to have for a different style pattern. I have, uh, in fact, I have a set here I've yet to get to. And this is the Govi strip lights. These are waterproof outdoors lights, guys. Uh, if you know where I live, I live in an apartment, so kind of hard to do an outdoor set for me. So I'll probably have to do it inside the house. <laughs> yeah, the lights are awesome, man. And I highly recommend Gobi products. Now, guys, we're going to move on to a couple products that actually work back to back. And these are from Toner. The Toner TC7 or TC20 and then the T20. So the difference between the two products is that the TC20 comes with the microphone. The, T the T20 is just the boom arm setup. So these products are actually very well priced and work very well. And as you guys see, we so have Tater Nate here talking about right the toner here. microphone. It's going to come with this boom arm. It's going to come with a cable to plug it in. It's going to come with a shock mount. It's going to come with a pop filters. So it just allows it to not have um, allows it to not have wind going through it. And you also get a mic sock right here. Um, so one of the coolest things about this mic, I didn't know when they sent it. Um, I didn't know they were sending it at all, actually. But Tonor usually makes USB <laughs> microphones. This TC20 uh. is actually a condenser uh, microphone, but it uses um, that standard audio port right here. So this is a non-USB. So you actually have to have um, you have to have a audio interface, but you get better quality out of it. All right, guys. So now we are using. The Tonor. I'm wishing TC20. everybody a great morning uh, and hopefully a great weekend. So How about good. that? I did a little bit of testing right before <laughs> we did this video. It sounds <coughs> absolutely so good. And one of the coolest things is it does come with everything you need to get going except for your audio interface. But the fact that it comes with a pop filter, it comes with the wind sock, 
it comes with everything you need to get going right out of the box. It's crazy. I mean, this is the best quality I've seen from Toner. They make they make quality products. In yeah, general. the, the mic quality of the Toner products the are actually very, microphone. I'm actually very well done, and especially now. for the price I'm range. Video broadcast if you look at the price range of this compared yeah, like said, to like the, the Blue Yeti X that I'm using now, microphone XLR. If you're looking at a price range, so price range to product the main quality, my Yeti X now, and you guys, the Toner microphones are just really great. Crazy to me. All right, guys, and now we are back with the Yeti X on my main screen. So, yeah, like I said, guys, that is Brandon, the Tonor for the follow. TC20. It sounds, I mean, it sounds ridiculous. I didn't know Tonor made an XLR microphone. Um, luckily, I had an audio interface. Otherwise, they just would have sent it to me, and I wouldn't have been able to really test it for you guys. You get all of that. So if you guys have been looking to get yourself um, a better setup for your Zoom calls, if you work from home, if you guys game, if you guys make product videos, content, anything like that, definitely check out this bundle from Tonor. Yeah, guys, like he was showcasing, the next product is actually just the boom arm setup. And I can show you guys that video if you really want, but I will talk about a little about it first. The, the deal is if you have the product that he just, that we just showed you in the video, that is an XLR. So you will need like an amplified XLR setup or a product that can actually use that plug. If not, make sure that your style of plugin will actually work with your setup because XLR is more of a pro audio style plug. It does take separate plugins. Most PCs are USB or 3.5 millimeter jack. So just remember that guys, it will take a special uh, uh, interface for that. Now the boom arm itself is actually really great and really strong. I will actually show you guys this video and it can actually and I'll show you guys this in the video with this microphone so I actually use the XLR microphone in this good morning James here from Dragon Blogger because I have one of a new product. <laughs> this is from uh, Toner this is their T now the way this boom arm is, is guys I'm going to tell you right now it can actually hold three Blue Yeti microphones with the weight which is crazy X's your Blue Yeti snowballs and all those heavier microphones that some of the clamps just won't hold. Now, they claim this can actually hold the weight of three Blue Yeti microphones and still work properly. Now, this comes with the pop filter. It also has the boom scissor suspension arm, which is pretty cool. It is, um, you know, has the adapters for 3 8 or 5 8 and I'll show you guys all that. Plus, it comes with some wire straps and some other cool stuff. It also comes with... Uh, a microphone windsock that goes over your microphone plus the wind pop which is a different piece that clamps onto the arm it comes with the clamp some adapter piece we're gonna actually hop forward we're gonna show you guys this uh, microphone cord so to where it's on the table mount i'm gonna set the there we go so this is how you put it on the table guys with the clamp the clamp is actually ultra wide it's actually padded so don't worry about it scratching stuff uh, unless you're like me and using your wife's kitchen table which is actually now broke by the way i broke the kitchen table i'm not gonna go there <laughs> uh, you should not use your kitchen tables as ladders just saying You guys can see this clamp it is on right there in the corner right here we will take this part drop it in to the angle that we need it in loosen the spring arm right so we can go this way or that way if that's the direction we need we can do that if we need it to go this way, we can reverse it, guys. I love how it reverse. articulates. Tighten it up just like this. <laughs> we'll show you guys this. Yeah. I'll be doing that later with, with a whole the, bunch of uh, monitor mounts and new clamps. Place more pop filter. Take that. You just clamp it on right about here. And we'll show you how all this. You screw it in right here, guys, just like this. You know. You really need to just screw it on. Make sure you're in there. 
Now what you guys see is I'm actually adding a shock mount on top of this, which is really cool. And then adding the XLR microphone to that. That way it gives it a little more dampening so you can actually block out some of the vibration of the boom arm. You adjust it however you want. You want the microphone to go like that. Put it in your shock mount, guys. Just like that. Just. Well, As I knock off the pop socket. Cut off. My fault. My bad. <laughs> Pull this open a little more. We will tighten this more this time. And then pull your pop over it. Well, as you guys see, that's not really connecting just the best. That could be. Now, that my was fault. my fault because I did not realize you have to angle the you actual clamp on. onto the bar in a certain it. angle to actually get it to clamp on see properly. Here. Now that I've used it a lot more, I realize that there is a certain way to clamp it on there. So, that actually so guys, make sure you watch how you clamp that on. Push this back, and then you have your mic shock mount. So that is the TC20 toner boom arm with pop filter, shock mounts, cable ties. Do the cable ties, just run your cable, tie it up into this. So it doesn't get caught or up all around. Nice little product if you guys so, are looking for a boom arm setup. If you just want a plain boom arm. Now the cool part about this is, is they actually have the kit with the mics too if you guys need the mics. Now we're going to move on over to a cool little product. And this is actually from Hohim. Now I did this little video. This Hohim 3-axis gimbal actually, the one we're showing you guys is for I believe all three so it's not just for a smartphone, but the one we're showing, the one that's for sale is for just a smartphone. It's pretty much the exact same product, except for the one I'm showcasing has separate mounts for a GoPro and a and uh, like your Sony XL ones or ZV ones, not the ZV tens, but the ZV ones because it's the lighter camera. Now the ZV E10 I did test on this whole hand camera uh, or gimbal. It will fit on it, but you know, it's almost to the weight limit of it shouldn't be there because of lenses like this. <laughs> now, we're going to show you guys this. this As you guys see, I this was done during Christmas. Three axis hand stabilizing gimbal. Now, this is for small cameras. It does have the Sony uh, camera control. So you have a Sony app that can actually work with this and link up to your Sony cameras. As you know, I have a Sony Alpha. I do not think the Alpha can fit on this. It is a small camera, so we're going to test it. Hopefully it fits, but it might be a little heavy. Okay. Now, the cool thing Possibly about the top. app is also, Sorry. guys, if you guys need it, it will do uh, AI tracking. Is. The gimbal will actually use, uh, work as a separate battery for your, your phone or camera also. We have a nice rugged... Depending on which I version you really purchase. Rugged. It's kind of flimsy. This is actually rather flimsy for a carrying case for a gimbal. I would be worried of throwing this in the backpack or dropping this, that it's going to damage something. I would have loved to have seen a hard shell case. Uh, Hohem, if you're listening, hard shell. Inside, you know, it is nice though. It, they have a case, so you can put everything in, in, in one place. Go and zip it. Flip it. Inside, we have some pieces floating around. First thing is, is a huge, and I'm talking thick, user manual on the front several languages so you guys can already imagine that we're going to go into several languages it shows you how it rolls tilts disclaimers you know how to hook up your stuff how to use your stuff what the buttons are stuff like that we're not going to get into this we're just showing you it's just an unboxing today we have some screws these screws you will show you what those screws are for so this kit was not fully set proper here is your charging cord or connecting, this is your connecting cord. So this will connect your product to the gimbal. It so doing short. that will actually let There's you the use the gimbal that. battery we'll to do like that. do like uh, Second, it comes with a tripod. longer shots, still shots, yes, overnight shots. Right. If you want to do like comes with a tripod. Uh, time lapse video, so if you want to put your camera it will allow tripod, you to use that as a back, nice second battery tripod. just in case your phone dies, like that which tripod. is actually really cool. You know, you just set it on, screw around. That's a nice little tripod. Now with their whole hand app, you can it. actually use it for AI it's tracking, nice so it'll actually follow ones. you around. Um, you know, 
Now the one we're showing you guys in sale actually comes with the remote control also. You want it higher? Go higher. I like that. Your charging cord, I'd say it's probably a couple inches long. Uh, should have been longer, guys. If you want me to charge this, I need a longer cord. And I'm just saying that. I would have loved to see this USB-C, not mini USB. Just throwing it out there. You know, same thing. Here is your phone holder. If you guys know, it is going to hold a phone, but it's not going to hold a big phone. Pull the gimbal out itself. If you guys know what a gimbal is, it's pretty much stabilizing, you know, tilt, pans, you know, pretty much. How are we going to work? Just like that, you see? On the front, or on the back, is your tilting. On the front is your power button. Let's see, let's power this up. You guys see it spinning? You know, it just stabilizes the camera. I'm going to kind of talk about this. So, stabilizing your camera and your video view is actually a great little option with these gimbals, which is really cool because getting the perfect shot and having your picture stabilized is kind of hard sometimes when you're doing it by hand. Because doing it by hand like this can actually change the stabilization or make you want to zoom in and out. With inside the gimbal, it actually holds it and stabilizes it in place while you can move your hands around. And literally, it can allow you to take this picture and zoom this camera in 360 degree shots or zooming back and forth to get that perfect motion of range of picture. Now, if you do an AI tracking, like if you want to sit there and put it on the tripod, let tripod sit on the thing. With the app, it'll actually lock into your phone. Use the camera on the phone to track the 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 item or person and keep it going kind of like how my obsbot ai tracking camera that i'm using right now works and i will actually unlock that and kind of show you guys this hop over so it kind of will follow you guys just like this so with the hohen gimbal it can actually do that while tracking with the app so it's kind of really cool that it can do that there's a lot of options with it, if depending on which one you get. Now, the one we're showing you guys will actually fit an iPhone 12, so do not worry. It will fit an actual large phone. The one in the video was meant for three different products, not just camera or just a phone. So great product, great option, guys, if you guys are looking for something like that. Now, we're going to move over to the JBL Clip 4 portable Bluetooth speaker, which is actually a nice little speaker. We're going to show you guys a little video for this. So this is my little JBL Clip 4 speaker. Okay, pro no problem. I just unboxed it and connected it to my phone. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate how it works and everything. It's just really super simple. I like to listen to music while I shower. And so this is going to be a nice little thing that I can clip onto my shower stand and use. It is waterproof. Um, it, it says that on the casing for it that it is IP67 waterproof and dustproof and has up to 10 hours of playtime. Um, it's really easy to use. As you can see, this little light is on and not flashing, so that's how you know it's connected. It has Thank two you for the right follow, there. Dream the Team. Button. You fold it for a little bit to turn it on, and then if you want to connect it, truly to appreciate it. Two seconds, and then you're good. As you can see on the front, it has some controls for play, increase volume, and decrease volume. I'm going to play some music here from my phone so you guys can hear how it sounds. So just automatically, you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and raise the volume. Nice, and then lower the volume also. And then um, I can also just hit this button and stop it. So as you can see, it's a really nice little speaker. It does have a good amount of volume and bass to it, and it's just really nice overall to use. So if you're looking for a nice little speaker that fits those needs, definitely check this one out. Well, that's a little JVL Bluetooth speaker, guys. Great for the shower, great for the beach, great for your uh, backyard pool. If you need a little Bluetooth speaker, awesome little product. Thanks to Enkeda for doing that, guys. Now, we have a few more products up here. First is the oh, Aqua Oasis Cool Mist, and I believe Enkeda did this one for us also. 
so this is my aqua oasis cool mist humidifier <laughs> the reason why i have it like this is because i'm uh before i put it on i kind of want to show you guys how to put water in. anybody want to answer all my text messages that are going off right here when it's right side up you have to turn it upside down and unscrew this part right here and then once you do that you can fill water in. it took me a while to figure that out because it doesn't come with instructions and there's not real clear instructions on the product page either either so that's just one thing that I wanted to point out. But once you put water in there, you can go ahead and put it in here and flip it over. And you don't have to worry about it leaking because um, the water won't come out the bottom until this part is pressed into here. Minus so side, I can go away already. Put that in there and the water should start, as you can see, it's bubbling. So the water is starting to um, drain into the bottom portion. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on from there. And as you can see, it starts coming out almost immediately. Now, it does come with this nice little bag. All right, buddy. You can see here. And this is, you're going to want to put this top on. I didn't put it on before just to kind of show you guys how to put it together. So once you do. And that starts misting right away. And then it'll start feeding mist out of the top of it. Now, what's cool about this thing is, is that it provides dry air relief. And it works from 12 to 24 hours, just depending on how you want to set it and how much mist and stuff you want to come out based on this little nozzle here. Um, you know, I'm turning it on to set out more mist. And basically, it has an automatic shutoff, a 2.2 liter container. And it, as uh, advertised, it's basically silent. You can't hear it do anything. Um, and so that's one thing that I think is really cool because some will make bubbling sounds. Some the other cool thing is you can actually add silent. the liquid vapor it's rub into it silent. So and help clear up your uh, sinuses if you need it during like a uh, cold and flu season. Of, uh, the dry environment that you're in. This is definitely one that you're going to check out. <laughs> They'll just eat his, eat his products. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about that. They'll eat his uh, eye massagers, his headsets, his, his shoes. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> well, now. Ah, yeah. That's crazy. All right, next product up, guys, is from Sojo's. This is their classic aviator sunglasses. I really like the Justin way did this here. I really like the way the lens now, remember, guys, do not play um, poker really with these glasses on because you're going to give your hands away. And a lot of aviators are a lot bigger. These are actually kind of like, say, smaller aviators. But I like the way the, these look. These are kind of nice. Again, Sojo's makes a lot of pair of sunglass options. If you look at all the combinations of styles on each model, they, there's hundreds of different styles and options you can choose from from Sojo's. And this one looks pretty cool. I don't know if any look good on me or not. Honestly. Just giving you guys tips, man. If you gamble, don't do it. Whether or not you like the look, <laughs> or you like the style. Very subjective. But they're all good at blocking out UV light and helping, you know, you not have that sun in your eyes when you're driving. Yeah, they actually look like they're decent sunglasses. I mean, they're a little small for me and not my style, but they're actually really cool. I actually need to get some new sunglasses at some point. Uh, I want to thank Sojo's. They did send us, like, I think almost 15 different pairs of sunglasses to showcase, which was very cool of them. I believe Justin got, like, 12 pairs of them. Uh, oh, 14 pairs. Yeah, see, like I said, 14 to Justin, 2 to Nate. Uh a lot of pairs you guys will be seeing. <laughs> I don't gamble. I'm not a gambler. Now, guys, we're going to move over to our last product, and this is the wrist brace from Fetal. And actually, I need to get some knee braces from them. But Dragon we're going to show you guys this. Today, yeah, that's a lot of money. Looking at this wrist brace. Now, this <laughs> I never win. Beneficial if you have a of course, I don't play to. I don't play, so I guess you have, have to play to win, right? Carpal tunnel or any conditions that you would need to brace your hand and your wrist. Now, Justin. this is meant for your left. And this All right. is in uh, small I want to agree with Justin on that one. This is suitable for nighttime support <laughs> as well as daytime support. <laughs> No, we do not do uh, gift cards on Saturday. Mom's going to show you how to put this on. Now she suffers with arthritis and carpal tunnel in both hands. And Tom wrists. Cruise haircut. Uh, he These would need hair to for a Tom Cruise haircut. Easy to put on and make good. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. I had to. <laughs> These braces are very beneficial. 
for. I agree, man. Back. I want that game so Do bad, but you have to have PlayStation to get to play you it. Simply want to pull these straps. Tight, the game looks amazing. Tight that you're immobile, but not tight enough that it causes circulation issues. So take care when you're adjusting the straps. This provides complete control because of these three support straps. Oh. As you can see, it fits perfectly. It's not uncomfortable in any way. So if you're looking for a good, stable brace, check out this one. So that is the Fetal Black Wrist Brace for Carpal Tunnel, guys. Beetle actually makes some very great products. We've actually showcased and used a few of them. I actually use their back brace, which is really cool. I uh, no problems. I uh, that's I couldn't resist my joke either uh, towards Justin because you know <laughs> it just happens. Sometimes you gotta have fun, right? So that is our last product of the day. But we're gonna pop over here and talk, guys. First is we started a new giveaway. Make sure to enter that. Justin will post a link to that in the chat right now. That is for a new uh, Shox Open headset. Great little headset, guys, right? Second is tomorrow. Justin will be on tomorrow to do their stream for the day. And then uh, we will be uh, doing some different stuff because they will be going on vacation for a few days. So the following Sunday after that, you guys will actually see me, not them. Okay, for game up to play. Uh, Horizon Zero is a killer game. It is an amazing game. I played the original. I'm looking at the one Justin's been playing, and it's like, I want it. I, I just, I got to have the game. Unfortunately, I don't have PlayStation, so I can't play it. Hopefully, it'll come to PC rather quick. So, guys, if you have any questions about any of the products, please ask, and we will try to answer before we go. Uh, if not, you know, we'll have a great Saturday. I actually have to go work on my car, it looks like. Not what I want to do, but what I'm going to do. Uh, well. Oh, yeah, Steam Game Keys. That is a separate thing. And there you go. He can actually answer that a lot quicker. It's Steam is a gaming platform, pretty much, and we, uh, us gamers, play on it a lot. I have over 300-something games on there that don't get touched. Right. So, any questions, guys? Uh, if not, I want to appreciate and thank everybody that's popped in, even all the new followers. We thank you because without you, we couldn't do what we do. Now, if that's uh, all we got today, have a great Saturday. I'm going to bounce out of here. I'm going to go try and work on a car and then come home and rebuild a PC. Guys, have a great one. See you guys all later. It's been blessed.